Hey, Brandon here from the Debbie Deep Dive Podcast. Thanks for tuning into the scouting and film analysis of Alabama wide receiver Jalen Waddle. If you're looking for Debbie content on YouTube, consider subscribing to my Debbie Deep Dive channel. Not only do I provide detailed scouting reports like this one, but frequently post seasonal highlight videos of younger Debbie players. I also host the Dev Debbie Deep Dive podcast each week where I discuss the Debbie landscape and introduce younger Debbie assets to give you an advantage in your Debbie and Dynasty leagues. So yes, we are going to talk about uh, Jalen Waddle today. When you think of Jalen Waddle, the first thing that most people think of is speed. But there are three aspects of his game that I want to go over briefly here. And then after that, I'm going to play some cool tunes for you and you'll be able to just watch the rest of his highlights from the 2019 season. So let's get to the film. All right, the next three plays are going to really demonstrate Jalen Waddle's yak ability, his yards after the catch ability. He is um, definitely one of the best yak runners in college football. Okay, so we'll take a look at this play right here. All right, so we're going to run it through and then do it in slow motion, catches the ball, and just, you know, again, just watching, you know, the cuts. Look at all these defenders missing. Just, again, his speed around the corner. I don't even think he's running at full speed there, to be quite honest with you. Okay, so here's the play again. Let's just break it down a little bit longer. A little bit, uh, you know, taking a look here. A nice catch away from his frame, okay? And then, you know, what I really like here, again, how he manipulates these defenders, okay? He's, he, you know, to, he knows he has the cutting ability to make this cut, and he just, out, you know, outdoes these two guys right here. See that? And they react. He does the same thing with these two guys right here. He sets them up, see how he kind of digs in there a little bit and, uh, you know, gets them at least off balance for a second or two. That's all he needs is then to turn the corner. So, again, he has that ability with the jump cuts, the lateral movement, and the way he manipulates defenders. And, of course, then he's going around the edge and um, gets the play there. Um, is really one of my favorite plays of all his his tape for the two nine, for 2019 season. Um, I'm just going to go through it. You're going to watch it here. I'm just going to look at the vision, the burst, Lateral movement, contact balance, strength. He's a beast. Dude is tough as nails, man. So let's go through it a little closer and take a look at a little closer and stop it here and there, and we'll just take a look. So again, nice catch away from his frame. Goes in, makes a nice cut right there, okay? And he goes inside here. And I just love here at the end. I mean, look at, again, everybody missing, taking bad angles. Um, this guy here isn't going to get it. But look at the contact balance. Just look. Look at this. Still on his feet. And then this guy comes, boom, right there at the end and just kills him at the end. I mean, this dude is one tough kid. All right. So here's the last play showing his yak ability. And I really, what I liked about this play, it's on a little stop route here. He's down here and he kind of, and again, he's going to just show you the contact balance. Watch the, you know, again, the immediately upfield gets twisted around, regains his footing, and then the burst. And then watch here at the end. Now, he could simply go out of bounds here, but watch the toughness against this linebacker right here for an extra three or four yards. Boom! I just thought that was, like, great. Again, I mean, does he want to do that in the NFL and get his, his bell rung? Probably not, but it just, again, shows you the toughness that Waddle has. All right, I think another part of Jalen Waddle's game that he really excels in is his route running. He's got really crisp routes, and on this first play, we're going to play it at full speed, and then we're going to break it down into four sections, Okay. Um, there's a couple things going on here on this play. Again, great stop route, you know, a little curl route, and then he's off to the races and you ain't going to catch him. You're just not. When he gets in the open field, you can forget about it. All right, but we're going to just take, I want to take a little closer look about, you know, a little couple things that I've noticed in this in this particular route and kind of break it down and tell you why this kid is so good at what he does. All right, so again, I'm going to start it right here. And what's he doing? Okay, he's selling the outside leverage. Good pad level. You can tell he's racing down here. He's selling this guy that he's maybe going on a, you know, a corner route or, or something like that. Okay. And then one, two, three. Okay. Nice, quick footwork. One, two, three with a turn. Okay. And just look, you can see the momentum still taking him out. He's in a great position here to catch this ball. He's, I mean, look at the separation. He's got to respect his speed from the beginning of the route, obviously, at the uh, line of scrimmage, knowing how fast Waddle is, but I thought that was really nice, okay? And then the ability, catches the ball, and then turns up field. Again, the separation, and then just the burst. And you're just not going to catch him. So, like that route there by Waddle, okay? So... Again, this is a really complicated route. We're going to break this guy down too, but I want you to just watch it first. Here he is right here taking this guy to the cleaners on a, you know, out and up route. 
You know, you can see you got it dusted them two or three times during that. But let's take a look at it again a little closer. All right. So again, you know, he now he's showing the inside leverage on this play. Okay, and that's the you know that's the idea when you get off the line of scrimmage, right? You want to get this guy off balance somehow in some way and get him in a misdirection and get him off balance. But just that little stutter step right there got him enough. You know, he probably could have sold it a little better. You know, squaring his shoulders to go to the inside. But again, at least he got this guy to be off balance a little bit. Makes the nice use of hands. You see the little hand swap there. You know, really uses that that arm and his physicality to knock off that defender. Okay, and again, then he does he what he did. And you you know, if I can just you know do that one more time, one more time. All right, I just want to show you one little thing that he does here. Okay, he dips his head, turns his upfield, and then you see here how he looks over here. You know, if this guy here, he's trained to kind of look at the head and his body. And again, he's kind of quickly selling the inside, but then he's going back outside. So look, this guy's already off balance. He doesn't even know where he's going. He kind of falls into him. All right. And then I think Waddle's expecting the pass here. I think he's expecting the pass here. And he realizes uh, Tua is uh, throwing the ball here. That Tua had to scramble and, you know, go, you know, he had to improvise and, Waddle saw that the ball wasn't coming, so what did he do? He's a smart player. He goes and immediately turns downfield. Now, the shadow right here is the football. So as soon as Waddle turned around in this play, he saw that that, that ball wasn't coming and saw two was scrambling, and he immediately turns upfield and then goes in for the touchdown. So you can see the ball shadow coming. And just look at the separation here. That's really nice. So, again, I get Waddle's a route runner. He's technical. The guy's got lateral movement. He manipulates defenders. He uh, is in a good position when he's running routes. All right, this is the third and final play showing his route running, and there's a couple things in here, too, um, that I think is worth noting. Nice pass that he had, a little uh, out route there for a touchdown, but we're going to break it down again a little bit more, okay? So first thing here that I notice is, okay, immediately he's selling the inside route, okay? So you got this guy who's already turned in the inside, which is, you know, battle number one, right, coming off the line of scrimmage. Okay, so he does that, and then he, you know, again, with his speed, he's able to do, and I like, you know, again, the physicalness, of, you know, shielding the contact there. And, you know, then he sees the ball coming. Good separation. And when you're down this close, you just need a little bit of separation if you got a good quarterback. So, again, I like the way he sold the inside leverage, turned to the outside, beat his man here. But what was really, really nice was the end of this play that I wanted to show that really stood out to me. Nice catch. Okay. One foot. Look at the, look at the little drag here. He's already getting ready for the NFL with his foot drag right here. That is a really, really nice catch by Waddle. So, again, his route running skills are just are fantastic. I think it's one of his better traits that he has um, as he heads into the NFL. All right, the last part of Waddle's game I want to take a quick look at. I got one clip here is his special teams. He was a fantastic kickoff and, more importantly, a great punt returner. He averaged uh, over 24 yards a return on punts with one TD and actually returned a kickoff as well for a TD. But this is just a cherry on the top for NFL teams looking for a great wide receiver. When anytime you can get a great receiver with all the skills that Waddle has um, and, you know, add him into a special team and, and be able to get him on the field as a, you know, early rookie, um, this only bodes well for Waddle. But this is a game against LSU. I'm going to let the film do the talking here. Great contact balance there, you know, right after the catch. And you know, he's just got the speed. He's got the vision. Um, he's just a great receiver and a great special teamers, and he's tough as nails, and that's what I love about him. He's got the toughness to succeed in the NFL, and he's a great Debbie asset. If you've got him, great. If you don't, you should target him and get him on your team because I think he's going to be a top five receiver heading into the NFL next year. So hope you enjoyed this film, uh, some critiques, and i got a lot of clips left. Got some cool music. Enjoy the rest of the video. Mm -hmm.